All right, you. What is up, everyone? Here we are, living the dream. I got uh, an edit going there, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm about to do. I just upgraded my store, our store, me and Sammy's store, on um, Big Cartel. We made the group decision that we should pay more, uh, uh, ten dollars a month. To have a bunch of different products it, it, for free you can have five for ten dollars you can have 25 so instead of doing ebay i'm figuring why do ebay we'll just try and be ebay like bypass ebay and just it might not be the best choice but i'm gonna try it um put tons of merchandise on our own store that we show in videos and then people can buy it right directly from us without going through ebay at all just to secure um, Big Cartel, it's a huge website. Lots of people sell on there. So we're gonna put our first like 25 items on there, or 20 items on there uh, today, and then people are gonna be able to buy off of there. So it's uh, scraplife.bigcartel.com, and that's the first plan. So I'm t I just took pictures of this stuff, gonna put it up. So anyone who is interested in that stuff. And you guys were saying the duck could be worth money, but the head's totally broken and glued back on. So I don't know that it, the value is going to be more than maybe $20. I don't know. Maybe it is. Uh, but people knew about the duck, so maybe I'm going to re reschedule it for 25 bucks. If the people are, that are interested still want it, they can buy it. If not, someone will. And that's the plan. Be eBay. Don't just do eBay. Um, eventually we'll just have a full store of like a few hundred items and just people can buy right off of there from us um, and then we don't have to deal with all the the BS of eBay so that's what I'm thinking right now <laughs> But here we are, another beautiful day in paradise. About to go to the actual Wells Fargo mortgage division and get our mortgage figured out so we know how much we're actually going to be paying a month. Um, so, yeah, that's what we got going on. First claim of the day, and then later we're coming back, going to mow all the grass. We're going to load up all the gear and go over to the island and mow all the grass we got to do. We got to deal with some poison ivy and possibly trim back a couple bushes for this guy. Not any crazy tree work like we were doing before. We're done with that. Um, literally just trimming like a couple things off a tree. And I'm going to ask him exactly what he wants on the phone before I do it. But he's a friend, so don't think he's going to be brutal. But that's the claims. Whew. All right, home mortgage division. Wells Fargo, same company that we work for. All right, we're loaded up with all the gear we need for the day. So I'm thinking just hopefully doing a quick mon montage. Shut it up. Case closed, a quick montage of us just cutting grass and then get to something else more exciting because I don't think that people want to just watch us cutting grass all day. So I'm just gonna film a bit, put it all together and give you guys a taste of what we're doing and then when we come back get some more interesting footage of maybe more items i want to get this store up and running because like answering individual emails maybe three or four about each item is too overwhelming i want to just have it all online people can just order it from there hopefully but we're out about to hit the sash for the day another day living the dream you all 
All right, so this is a special case. I would personally choose not to do this ever, but there's all poison ivy. Poison ivy. And this is my friend's house. Uh, and he, he needs to get rid of this, so it's all the way up in here. I'm gonna spray it all down with the poison ivy spray, and hopefully it kills it. it kills the root, so. Done this only one other time for someone else, but this is heavy. I, I hate poison ivy, so. So, back at the house, cut all the grass we had to. Like I said, I cut it short because it's kind of boring, but I took suggestions from people and put this up on some blocks that I had. These are just like stepping stones. So everything's a little bit above the ground for the most part. I mean, the dirt's pretty close, but raised up on these cement blocks for now so good claim I'm gonna put the rest of this board I only need this to just store stuff for the next five years tops so if this thing rots away and I have to take it down hopefully by then I'll have another shop facility warehouse not hopefully, I guarantee that I will in five years. So this is literally for the time being to store some stuff just so I can make money. So going for it. Everything about this project is free so far. Yes, I didn't use pressure treated wood. A few pieces I did, but mostly I didn't just because I'm not going to buy wood or something that I can do for free for what I need to use for it. Like use it for a temporary storage facility for a few years. Hopefully I can use this piece. It's a little looking worse for wear, but we'll see. Also we have more items we're gonna display later and show you guys put up on the store. We're gonna have a pretty decent store going. I'll show you later on of just items that are up for sale and someone already bought something so pretty epic a lot of inquiries and i only posted two three items on the store and one out of the three has been bought already so already successful in my eyes all right i wanted to show you guys something uh my dad was working for this woman she was getting rid of a bunch of stuff this was a few years ago he got this vintage wrought iron mesh mesh wrought iron floral um, table and chairs patio set it's a little tiny it's a little bit rusty it's beat up but he was getting rid of it he asked if we wanted to try and sell it so we're gonna try and sell it for around 200 just to move it I think it's worth more I think the chairs could sell for 200 but if we can get two 250 for this we're all in because uh, he said literally if you want just scrap it but that's insane these things are awesome all right uh, going round two of the online yard sale that we got going on that's what I'm calling it from now on we have all these items all either vintage or antique all, like a lot of occupied Japan stuff we have this last piece of roseville that we got left it does have a chip right there you can see it but i'm claiming thirty dollars for this one um plus shipping everything's plus shipping this is all going to be on the website eventually so you can just buy it off of there i'm not going to do trash can uh transactions in cash because it's too much work and i can't just be sending items out like tons of items out paying shipping on cash that i may never get I like to be a trustworthy person, but that's just not going to happen. Okay, so we have these two. Um, it's 
says Liberty Blue, Historic Colonial Scenes, Paul Revere, Made in England. And this is the same. This one has a 10 on it, and this one has a 12.5. So I think this is for like milk or cream or gravy, whatever. Um, so these are really cool. I guess is that supposed to be Paul Revere? I think that, yeah, it's supposed to be the scene of him. And you can tell they're a little bit different. Yeah. This one's older, I think. So I guess this is the 10th time they printed the cup and this is the 12th time maybe maybe that's what that means but this one's a little more whitewashed like not as detailed if this you can one, tell yeah this one's way more detailed so yeah and this one does have it's like like they put a glaze over this one yeah this has pressure cracks a tiny bit across it though weird kind of like how the roseville gets over time though so or this much? one's newer i don't know one of them is it says made in england 20 bucks for both and it is the scene of Paul Revere warning us that the British are coming uh, I guess during the American Revolution that's what that's supposed to be so those that this water cup I call it that because of the size it's hand painted you can like feel it it has a gold rim, but it's faded a little bit. Doesn't say anything on the bottom, but it's glass, I think, right? Yeah. This is glass. Yeah. Thin glass. So. I mean, just the significance of it being hand painted, and if someone collects gl uh, green glass, where. Um, it's probably going to be to a specialized buyer that just wants it because they like the way it looks, but $10 for that. And this one, too. Same price. This is like a fancy shot glass. <laughs> looks like a double shot, though. But, um... Or... No, you can't clean your eyes with that. No. You might be able to. I mean, you could. Depends how big your face is, I guess. But... This is like really cool. I don't know if this is. Probably came in a set, but we don't have the rest of the set. Just the lone, the lone shot glass. I mean, might seem a little pricey, but we're not doing items less than ten dollars just because the hassle of posting it and shipping it is just not worth it. So if we don't end up selling it online, we're just going to take the stuff to the flea market. How much is that? Ten. Okay. Ten for that. Ten for that. This is uh, probably a candy dish or to hold change or keys like in the front of your house maybe whatever you wanted to put in it or you could literally just display it. I think she had it on a shelf because she had a lot of this stuff. Made in occupied Japan so same time period as all the other occupied Japan. This is $20 for this. It's hand painted. It has gold painting all over. I'm not sure if they were using real gold. Probably not. But it's really cool, specialized piece that I've haven't seen this much occupied Japan ever in my life. But twenty dollars. This is another occupied Japan piece. Um, I think I mentioned this before when we brought it out, and we were trying to get like a good amount at the flea market, but no one no one wanted to pay the money that it was worth there, so we just took it. Oh, home. this is really cool. It has uh, what is it? Bamboo. I don't know why that. Is slipping my mind but it is a little bit scratched here there but I mean it's old it is what it is but it's made in occupied Japan metal based lacquerware and Marini I think is the company name it's, it looks like it says M-A-R-U-N-I not sure but $20 for that all these are plus shipping too so when I put it online I'm putting it within the United States. If you are dying to have something that we have and you're from either like Canada or England, it's gonna be a lot to ship it, but we will do it um, if you're willing to pay the shipping. Um, but yeah, we're putting it all in the store and I'm gonna add like $8 shipping to this probably. So that'll be $28.
Sounds like a lot, but it's really not for the, the quality. This is a coffin topper. I, I'm assuming that's what someone said. That this would be placed either at the funeral or on the coffin before they lowered it into the ground. Um, my Jesus Mercy, and it says IHS. I guess it's made out of cast iron, I'm pretty sure. Or some kind of casted aluminum, which they do cast aluminum. But that's a $30 buy right there. I'm not into the religious stuff. I am actually do like religious memorabilia, but I'm not religious. But for someone who would just either need to use this for what it's actually for or just for display, still in the box. All right, give us a rundown on these plates. So these plates are... What does it say? It says Royal Visit. Eighth edition of the of the collection of eight, commemorating the hundredth anniversary of Buffalo Bill's Wild West. Original painting by Jack Woodson. So that's who it was painted by. Authorized by the United States Historical Society and Buffalo Bill Historical Center. Limited edition, five thousand USA. Don't know what that means. Um, it says Denmark. It says. Uh, says purveyor to her majesty the queen of denmark and then it says copenhagen porcelain bing and grandal BNG. denmark so there's how many of these one two three four five six seven eight of these so for all eight oh how much did you 60 60 and then we were doing 10 each 10 each so if they're all different um 60 for the set this is Hmm. I get Congress of Rough Riders. Um, what does that one say? Oh, okay. So I was wrong. They're not all painted by the same person. Jack Woodson. Because that was a different name than what's on that one. Jack Woodson. It was the same one? Yeah. On the first one. Original painting by Jack Woodson. Oh. This one is... Hmm. Annie Oakley, Buffalo Hunter, Sitting Bull, Sitting Bull, that's my favorite one, Deadwood Stage, Deadwood Stage, I guess uh, that's a robbery of a stagecoach, Pony Express, and Farewell Appearance. No. Those are cool. Appearance. Okay. If you like collecting plates. Probably worth way more than that, but 60 bucks for all plus probably $15 shipping just because I'd have to box them really nice. So, or if you guys want them, we will split them up, but we don't want to have to do that. And then they had these little, these are Occupy Japan, right? Yeah. Yeah, all of these are Occupy Japan plates, like little dishes. 25 for this set. They're all saucers for teacups, pretty much. And they're all made in occupied Japan. Or you could feed your kikis off of them. You could use them just for... This one says Nasco. This one just says occupied Japan. This one has different, slightly different font, but says made in occupied Japan. And this one is the same as that one. So. And this is really cool. Did I buy this or did we get no, this? No, the same place mm. as these and these. Okay. Actually, almost everything here came from there. So this is kind of like, I'm pretty sure this is a candy dish. Like, I don't know. It's a decorative, just. Or, or you could just decorate it. You can put anything in it, honestly, if it's small enough. Your keys too, but I feel like that would. Ruin it. Ruin the gold. Like, because this is hand painted. It says hand painted on the back. That says hand painted, and it says occupied Japan, and then it says fancy China. Saji. Because it's fancy. It's really cool. So. Thirty dollars. Yeah, this is nice. Thir I was gonna keep this, but I just we have so much stuff. <laughs> I don't need it, you know. So. Thirty bucks. 
Very cool. And then we have this, which I thought was really cute. I remember cleaning this off. Um, doesn't say, doesn't have anything on it. Nothing written on it. It's just, it's like a double seater bench for a doll, a mouse. You know what I mean? If you have a mouse that's living in your home and you want to give him something cool to sit on, <laughs> it's this would be a nice gift. Literally for display, but that came from North Cape May. Different house. Yeah. So. I'm saying I remember I grabbed, snatched this. And this piece is, I that's think. That's for like uh, toothpicks is usually what I've seen held in these. This Is this crystal? I think it is. Not guaranteeing. Not guaranteeing, but... I'm not guaranteeing any of the authenticity of any of this stuff. Because I'm just reading off of what it says on there. It looks... Sounds like it. But, I don't know. But if you use toothpicks a lot, I don't know. Ten dollars. That's pretty much with that collection. Do you hear the neighbor's bird? So, for more information, or for questions comments email us and we'll try to answer you guys otherwise this stuff's gonna be up online uh, to buy so I hope you guys are enjoying these little online flea market type online yard sale things that we're doing we're gonna be doing one every once in a while until we get a lot of our items out there to you guys first and then if if they don't sell that way we're gonna try and sell them either on Craigslist offer up flea market or eBay but I, I'm thinking this is the best choice give you guys the opportunity first um, at I what I think is a decent price so all right guess I'll put this stuff away later. all right my friend Paul told us about some pallets that were out for free and I was looking for a couple just to store stuff on like the tires and different parts uh, car parts that I have and stuff that we're trying to sell and just have it more organized and stored in the corner of the yard instead of all over the place so hopefully someone didn't take all of them we only need about like four max um, so we're going there now it's literally like right here if we turn right here I think Paul was saying it should be right here so we'll see you 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 Say it later. No. We got some free pallets. We have more inside. Oh, dude, these are looking rough. Just these two left, dude, though. I could put... Roll down the window. I could put just wood on top, though, to make it nice, right? Just to store shit. Kind of worth it to keep it off the ground, right? It says more inside. Should I inquire inside? Because like these two next to the thing, the fence, they could hold most of it and I could just put a piece of wood over both of them. What does it say? Rosner. Oh dude, this is kind of a sick trunk, honestly. Not a total piece. No. Nah, it's cool. I'm taking it, boys. I'm taking it. Ah, you got me. You got me. I don't know if I'm going to be regretting it. But... All right, so I just scooped this out of the trash, this trunk. I don't know if I'm gonna be regretting it or what, but it's really cool. It has metal around the bottoms. It's got this hinge. It's got a name tag on the front. It's got metal around the top. And these cool handle hooks, handles. I don't know. It's cool. It's 
I've seen one like this before. My dad had from his grandfather. I guess at the very least, we scored some just scrap out of it. Ooh, and a big old spider that's not looking too nice. So we scored the pallets, two nice sized big ones. Um, from where Paul said, we actually had to go into the warehouse, talk to the guys, they were epic. Um, they didn't really want to be on film because they said they weren't ready for the vlog. But they were saying, if you need more pallets, come back. The operation they got going on there is, whew, out of this world. Never saw that coming, but hopefully maybe we'll go back and film something there eventually. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to use these, like, in the corner of the yard or along the fence here to store stuff that we got on the inventory list. So That's the dream claim. That's trash. I hate that thing. They won't take it because they think I want to fill it up. Like, I'm going to fill it up again, so they leave it, but I'm going to get this in the trash for sure. All right, that is pretty much all we got going on today. It is getting late. We're about to watch The Hobbit, the new one. Just got it from the library, and just relax. It's actually already 8 o'clock, but it's just still light out because it's the summertime. It seems like it's broad daylight out here, but... Scored this chest today, and the dream is real. These pallets too, and we're gonna use those for the the dream. So, not a too interesting of a day that we had, but thank you guys for all the support and for the view for keep viewing every day. Um, even though I know it's not just an exciting video every time, uh, it's awesome to have you know so many people that support us and just you know, really want the best for us. Not everyone, but most of the daily viewers do. And thank you guys so much. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be making videos every day if it wasn't for the, the support we've had in the last year or this year so far, I should say, mainly. But uh, yeah, keep pushing and the dream is real. It's out there. It's within grasp, so. Every day is a push. Just keep making it happen. So we will see you guys tomorrow for some more claims. Phew! Peace out, everyone. Have a great night.